Once upon a time, many years ago, my dad got a great deal from Big Fish Games. This deal was that he got to pick one game for free from the website. What game did he choose? Well, none other than Phantasmat, of course. And this game haunted me and terrified me for years to come. Oh, there oh, their eyes opened. Hello, everyone. My name is Morgan, and today I'm going to face my fears, which is this game, Phantasmat. As I alluded to in this intro, my dad got this game when I was a kid, and I watched him play it, and it legitimately scared the hell out of me. <laughs> For one particular reason, and that's because of this freaking hotel manager. They don't, none of the characters in this game have names, but this, so th this guy, the hotel manager, scared me so freaking badly as a kid. And like, he haunts me to this day, and I thought, what a better way to spend Halloween with you guys than to face my fears? and play this game and face the hotel manager after all these years. I'm not even kidding. I, I genuinely don't want to do this. I'm, I'm so freaking scared. <laughs> this is literally a hidden objects game and I'm scared. <laughs> the, the, the thing is, it's like you would enter in this game, like you enter rooms and like the characters will just sort of like, there's a pause and then the character will like fade in if they're gonna be in the room. So you would go into a room and I'd be like, okay, it's safe, he's not here. And then he would just fade in and I'd be like, oh no. <laughs> anyway, I only have an hour trial of this game. Hell no, I was not buying it. I'm not spending any more time in this game. I don't even think I'm gonna last an hour in this game, okay? I don't. So it might be starting right now. So I'm just gonna get uh, going. Please enter your name. Please enter your name. Scared. Help. Help. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Guys. Maybe I won't get to him. Maybe my hour trial will be up before. I'm so scared. Guys, this is so stupid how stupidly scared I am. Okay, remember the, the- it has like a- the main theme of this game is kind of like a jam. From what I remember. So at least there's that. Yeah, this. It sounds good. Oh, yeah. I don't want to play! I'm playing! Okay, cha- For those- look. I don't want to challenge. I'm making it nice and easy. Okay? <laughs> I don't want to- this is like a, a pretty good shit that like children could play this game. Where am I? I must have taken a wrong turn. And I'm scared. I better check the map. Oh, oh, okay. I actually have to do it. Got it. Weird. Don't remember it looking like this. No, oh, here we go. Look, there's the hotel. That's where he is. Guys, I don't think I could last this long in this game knowing that I could enter a room and he'd be there. My car's crashing. Oh! Eyes in my rear view mirror. You hate to see it, really. Oh, how do I not die from this? You know, maybe it would have been better if I died, because then I wouldn't have to see the fucking hotel manager. God, your car crashed in the middle of nowhere and you need to find help. Would you like to be given tips? Yeah, give me tips. The faster I can get through this, the better. I'm lucky to be alive. I need to find some help. You should try to leave this place. Okay. Walking through electrified water is a big no-no. Can I turn it off? I've only got an hour in this game anyway. I need it to tell me what I can do. No way. I can turn the bolts uh, without a wrench. I think I need one in the trunk. Okay. Oh, I need my keys to open it. Maybe I drop them? Okay. This is where I- okay. Find the hidden objects part of the game. Okay. See, maybe I won't even make it to- okay, just- I found my keys already. Maybe I won't get to the hotel manager, manager because I have to find hidden objects. A bottle, a ship, a shoe print, a coal, button, thimble, paperclip, maple leaf heart, cork, floating hat. Oh, okay, that was apparently something. I'm just like, clicking. Okay, not gonna lie, this game is kind of like very pretty. Ew, there's a fucking spider. That's gross. I'm- I'm literally just like, clicking like crazy at this point. Oh, I found the bottle. I just need a button now. Hello, I need a button. Am I blind for not seeing it? Oh, I ran, I didn't even see that. I just randomly clicked. 
Uh, that was the first thing I picked up was my key, and I still had to pick up all those random objects. Jeez. Let me get in my... Got the keys. Let me in. Oh, man. Let me use this wrench. I really shouldn't be messing with electrical units. Oh, great, now there's a puzzle. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what I'm doing. Great, I did it. Um, okay, I can go this way now, apparently. Why do I want to go this way? Hello? Oh, see what I mean when they fade in? <gasps> you scared me. Who are you? What are you doing here? It's not safe. I know, there's a scary hotel manager. It isn't safe. Your car? Are you all right? No, because I'm going to see a hotel there's manager. A hotel no, I don't want to go to the hotel. Sort of work there. Anyway, there's a phone in the lobby. No. You could use it and call for help. Girl, I don't want to. Just please make the call and leave, okay? I don't want to- Don't check into a room or anything like that. Oh. Look, I know I probably sound a little crazy, but you've got to trust me on this. No. See, I- but I don't want- it's a ruined old sawmill. My tasks? I should visit the hotel the girl- I don't want to visit the hotel the girl told me about. Wait, I forgot to tell you something. Yeah? The forest can be a real maze sometimes. Can you remember these directions? Sure, what? On the first split, turn right. Right. Then right again. Right. Then left and right on the last one. Right, right, left, right. I'd come with you, but I need to check on the power lines. Right, right, left, right. Uh-huh, right, right. Uh-huh. Yeah. I need a... I need a flashlight. Girl, do you got a flashlight? Where am I... Girl, where am I supposed to find a flashlight? Do I have one? Oh, right there. Duh. Right, right, left, right. Right, right, left, right. You maybe might be better if I got lost in the forest. Oh, I got flashlight. Okay, right. Wait. Oh, okay. There's no turn. Okay, right. Left. Right. Straight. Okay, the music's badass, I'm not gonna lie. There's the hotel! I don't want to! Oh my god. Wait, hold on. What's this? Oh! I got stuck in one of these? Shite. I'm just gonna click like crazy again. Maybe I should've just like, not clicked on this. I'm not even joking, I'm legitimately so nervous. Like, I know he's up there in that hotel, and I'm gonna have to see him. I need a lotus flower and a- and a treble clef. The fuck? Oh, right there. I am a master at hidden objects. Oh, I got a notepad. Okay, I can write things down if I need to. I don't wanna go to the hotel! I don't! Oh my god. I can't reach it, it's too high up. The bell isn't working. Seems the doorbell chain is off. Ah! Seems nobody can hear my knocking. You know, maybe that's for the best? Great, I gotta search again. You know, it's honestly easier to just, like, click like crazy rather than read the list. Or so I thought. Now I'm, like, kind of having trouble finding shit. The music's getting scary, and I know he's coming. He could look out the window and see me right now. He could be staring at me. I should not be, like, this scared of a freaking hidden object game. Is that a blood stain on the couch? You know, I'm pretty sure the hotel manager's a murderer. I'm not even joking. Like, I think that's an actual plot point is that he's actually a murderer. Where is it? Oh, he's never gonna click over here. Guys, guys, I know this is where he comes. I mean, no. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. No. No! What? He look. Okay, is it Please, just me? Please, come in. I don't want to. His voice? <gasps> okay, was it just me or like at the left side of the door did he look like all grimy and gross? Fuck this. Fuck this. Fuck that! A stranger. His voice? Unexpected. 
Also, he's doing it to him. Nonetheless, welcome to our fine hotel. I don't want to be here. What brings you here on such a dark and stormy night? I could have died. We don't see many guests. I wonder why. Not since the town was flooded. Maybe not since people saw your face. Your car, I see. Did you happen to notice any downed power poles? Yeah. I wish I got electrocuted I by them instead of looking at you. Such bad luck. Ah! Such bad luck indeed. Shut the fuck up! As a fellow human being, As a fellow human being. To help you. you're dead. However, we're experiencing something of an emergency here as well. Mmm, really. Since the electrical power was cut off by nothing other than your crashing car. How would you know that? The phone is dead silent. The lights extinguished. However, I hate him. My assistant is trying to fix an old generator in the basement. I like your assistant which way more. Alleviate the situation. You if it's the girl. Probably check with her and see if it couldn't be done faster. You see, without power, I am unable to provide substantial help. Okay, that's fine. I'll just leave. As I would dearly like to. I'd rather take my chances hiking down the road. I'm gonna be honest with you. Fuck. What? Now what do I have to do? Maybe I could use the phone in the hotel. Yeah, I know that. What do I- I have to go to the- Okay, but legitimately, I think like he's got dead bodies in here. Or at least one. Like, seven bars are guarding this door. What could be inside that needs so much protection? I think the hotel manager is hiding a dead body in there. I think that's what it is. Oh, hey, it's you. What are you doing here? You were supposed to make the call and leave. I know, girl. The phone isn't working? Uh, yes. We've got an old switchboard, so you can't make calls if there's no power. Help me. This just isn't your lucky day. No! Fortunately, we have a generator, but I can't get it to work. Of course. I think it's broken, and, well, you'd better take a look at it. If you help me to get it going, the phone will work too. Somehow I get the feeling and it won't be that easy. I mean, you could get some help. Look, I, I, I know she's, like, dead too, but I, tr I trust her. She's just such a calming presence compared to the hotel manager. I don't know why he scares me so bad, but he does. Why is there a knife down here? Oh my, what's that? I found a creepy stain. Awesome. Is it the blood of the hotel manager's victims? Am I going to be next? Huh? Is that what's going to happen? I, 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 listen, I don't want to be here. Let me use one of my hints. What? What's over here? Oh, I haven't even read the list. I'm timed, okay? I've only got an hour. I don't- I'm not lasting an hour. I hope you all know that. Okay, I need a necklace and a, a brunette. Are you talking about her? A bru- Oh, her? Okay. You know, why isn't this girl helping me? Why do I need a necklace to fix the generator? Okay, I got a fuse. Why do I need that other stuff? I don't know. I got a fuse, girl. Oh. Oh, okay. You're not gonna help me? Sure. I'll fix the generator, I guess. Too bad. I thought it might work. What? It doesn't work? What is this? Some kind of bizarre set of scales. What the hell? What do I need for this? Don't tell me I gotta go back up stairs. Oh! Okay, well, now I gotta replace it for the fuse. I think I need to find something to balance those scales. Girl, where do I gotta go to the elevator? What's this? It doesn't work. The hell? It won't work without electricity. Ah, uh, dude, are you telling me I have to go back upstairs to the hotel manager? Look, girl, I don't want to go back to him. Oh my god. Ah. Bro, I hate you. There's a- Dude, you got a key in your fish tank. Dude. I'm- Damn catastrophe threatens the town. <laughs> I- I literally- it just, They actually just spelled damn wrong. You're supposed to see a V and N and it's this guy. And he said, damn catastrophe threatens the town! <laughs> I'm joking because I'm uncomfortable. Nice and comfy. Maybe this place isn't so bad- Excuse me, have you seen this face? Of course it's that bad. The staircase ah! leads to our fire. <laughs> However, I'm afraid I cannot allow you to access them. 
I'm afraid the rooms are occupied already. Yeah. And think about the lack of light in the uh -huh. dark. I didn't it think he was gonna talk. Break your neck. Oh my god. Bye. Okay, can I go somewhere else? Yeah, where? Bro, I don't know. A window is dark because nobody's there. We have to... No, there's an old lady up there. I don't think we're gonna make it to the old lady. I actually don't know where else to go. Like, I don't know where to get the thing to wait down stuff. Oh, what's this? Drowned Dead Hotel's missing owner. Uh, I think that's because, I think that, like, the, if I remember correctly, like, the old lady murdered him. Oh, no, 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 wait. What did that say? I was thinking of the town owner. Drowned Dead Hotel's owner missing. Oh. Um, he's upstairs. Saying I'm gonna break my neck. So, there's that. I need a hint. Find the water container near the cl cliff viewpoint. Okay. I remember there was a cliff viewpoint, and I tried to go there. Okay, maybe the entrance- Oh, I gotta go back here. Oh, okay. I picked up a raptor. I'm- I'm searching for objects. There's the thing I need. Hello? A clover? Found it. 41 seconds so I can get a hint. Where's a rag? The hotel manager could be behind me right now, and I wouldn't even know it. Ah! I found the rag. Okay, I got the water container I need. I was kind of hoping I wouldn't know what to do so that I could just give up and be done with this game already. Be oh, you're so ugly. I hate you. Oh, hey girl. Okay. Okay, I need to find something to measure the liquid. What? Now I need to find something to measure the liquid? Where? In the- Bro, I'm not going back there. It's not happening. I just- I don't want to. You know what? Fuck this. I'm too sc <laughs> Happy Halloween. I'm too scared. I I'm done with this. <laughs> Screw this. Screw this. Exit and save. I'm done. I'm done! <laughs> um- The song is kind of a bop, though, not gonna lie. Uh. Do -do -do. Welcome, scared help. <laughs> um, so what I am gonna do, though, is instead of keep playing this, um, because I don't know, I, I'm not going the whole way back to that stupid shack, um, is I remember at the end of the game, when you finally confront the hotel manager about being a murderer, he gets, like, real extra scary. So I'm gonna go find that on YouTube, and we'll, I'll react to that, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, I found it. This is like, <laughs> this is, this is like the, one of the moments that truly terrified me as a child. Um, basically, behind that door I was talking about where I was like, I think he's got a dead body back there. You, I, you go behind that door and you find out he's a murderer. Hotel deed. Yeah, he killed somebody for the hotel deed is what I, ah! Of course, it couldn't be anyone else but you. Oh, I, but <laughs> I'm watching this on two times speed, sorry. Um, I watch everything on two times speed. So it was already on that. I told you oh my to guys, what the fuck? What the fuck? He's gonna do it to me. Oh my god. So Look at his wanted. Now, He's a literal murderer. He's wanted by the FBI! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay, you know what? That's all for this video. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Happy Halloween! I hope you enjoyed my suffering. Yes, I'm still afraid of a game that children probably play. He's just- he scares me. It's, it's a childhood thing. He scared me so bad as a kid, so he still like freaks me out now. And yeah, I don't plan on ever touching this game ever again. Uh, we didn't even get to the old lady, who's probably- who I think would- is supposed to scare you more than the hotel manager, but no, it's- it's- it's this- it's this man. Oh. Anyways, that's gonna do it for me today, guys. Have a happy, spooky, but not too spooky, Halloween. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!